uh, you don't force it out of our homes, then we, are, we have to live in peace with you, especially in your country. We, we entered this country, we live in this country. Well, look, That's look. the biggest load of bollocks I've ever heard in my well, life. Because you don't agree with it or you think I'm lying? Do you think I'm lying? Like, so the, good. <coughs> but the point being, there's a Christian community there, living amongst the Muslims, under Muslims. So, under, exactly, yeah. yeah. So, we, but, so we're but like no, down here in Europe. Here. No, but the point is, the point is, you said we, you said that the Muslims they kill all the non, the infidels, but we don't. Infidels. Yeah. That's what it means. No, but we don't kill them because I told you there's Christian communities in Iraq, there's Christian communities in Syria, there's Christian communities in Egypt. So we obviously. I'll tell you what, right? Yeah. Open your eyes. Yes. In the next month. Yeah. Yeah. There'll be no Middle East. Okay. The foot is hell's going to break loose. You know, like. No, I don't. Oh. What makes you say that? UK and um, America. Yeah. Are bombing the Houthi rebels. Yeah, but that's one country. No. It I mean, it's X. But, um, America. We are with Israel. But America, who got kicked out of um, Somalia, who got kicked out of Yemen, who got kicked out of uh, Afghanistan, who got kicked out of Vietnam. They get kicked out. Yeah. I think yeah. it was all money. Yeah, it's all money. Yeah. Mean, and Vietnam. Yeah, but they got kicked out of Vietnam as well. So they're not that powerful as you think. They are. They are. OK, we'll see. And us. But, and the, thing is, but the thing is, if you see, like, put that aside. Do you believe in God? Well, I was brought, brought up as a Catholic. You don't mind like, me asking, where are you from? Because you've got a slight accent. Up north. Because I was born in Manchester. Oh. All right, yeah. Middlesbrough. Middlesbrough, OK. So, I was brought up every Sunday at church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, uh, the pastor, he wouldn't, like, what do you call it, when you get ceremony do you put your dress on and yeah, that. yeah 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 you wouldn't do it for me okay. and my brother so my mother said oh well fucking bollocks you uh -huh. but my two sisters did oh that's a bit do strange I mean? we were going every single sunday we went to okay the play school on the monday and everything about church my mother she was a a nun in hong kong when we lived in hong kong are you living in hong kong yeah okay how long for oh, about nine years how was that? Interesting experience? Yeah. Yeah. But you didn't lose your accent? <laughs> well, no, I've been back for me. OK, but do you believe in God? Not anymore. OK. Not anymore, because I'm a new... I'm a realist. OK. Right. Uh, you see all the kids getting stabbed up, beat up, cancer yeah. and all that crap. If there was someone there, I mean, that's looking, evil. Of course, that's bad. That's you, evil. Yeah. Looking out for you. Yeah. Then, so what? You but, can be saved. But what? What? If, what if you put it this way? Just listen to the argument, and then there's a God, and God has given mankind free choice. We have free choice. We can do good, and we can do bad, and then mankind chooses to do bad because this is a test. Like, say, say, for example, you know, me, me and you, when we go to school, for example, I, you study hard, you work hard, I don't study at all. So when we go to the test and you get everything right and I get everything wrong, can I now go and blame the teacher? Can I blame the exam? Or is it my fault because I didn't try? Yeah, your fault. Yeah, my fault. So the thing we're saying is, we're saying there is a God and God has put us in this life for maybe 60 years, 70 years, maybe more or less, and it's a test. We have free choice. So who's the God you're in about? I'll come to that, but I'm saying, if people do bad, it's because they've got free choice. And one day, they're gonna be questioned and they're gonna have to pay for it. But you can't blame God if he's given us a test and told us, this is your life, do good, I will reward you. Do bad, I will punish you. And people do bad, that's their own fault. They can't blame God. But I, I don't think that's a... I don't think that's a... A lot of people say it, but... Before that, when we say, is there a God or not, like me and you, we're talking to each other now. Like, you have eyes, you have ears. We're able to communicate, you're able to understand. All the time we're breathing, the blood is flowing around our body. 
I would say there has to be a God who made this. I don't think I don't think it can happen just by chance. No. I agree, but right. as I said, I live in I live in Hong Kong, so Southeast Asia. Yeah. Right, is a fucking. It's a supermarket of things that will like say you oh, I've got a cough. Nah, just pick a leaf off there. <coughs> Do that. Pick a leaf. Pick a leaf. Okay. Pick that. Natural so stuff. It's natural. Yeah. It's natural. Over here, now it's it's just like the pharmaceutical companies. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? They put a pill in you to make you feel better, but you got 20 side effects. Yeah. But the thing is, but still back keeping it simple, I say there must be a God. And if there's a God, there must be a way of life he wants us to live. Right. A and, God. We, and we have a choice. Yeah. Right. A God. Yeah. Who's your God? Okay, in Arabic, we would say the God's name is Allah. But w when we're talking about the God, we're talking about the one who made us, the one who owns everything. Who is that Jesus is dad? No, see, we believe Jesus, we believe in Jesus. We believe in Moses, but we believe they were messengers chosen by God. By Allah. By Allah to deliver ah, a message. Come on, fuck off. Why? That's, no, it's rubbish. Should I tell so, so why? Right? Can I just one question? No problem. But can I just make one point to you very yeah, quick, very possibly. quickly? Jesus, when he walked on the earth, most scholars say he spoke Aramaic. Aramaic is like a, it's a, it's a language which is related to Arabic, it's related to Hebrew. I mean, you can look it up. In Aramaic, the word for the one true God is Allah. That's the word Jesus would have used. Even even it's, that's the word Jesus would have used when he calls on God. Even if you if you go to um, Syria now, if you go to Egypt now, if you have a Christian and they open their Bible, in their Bible God is called Allah. That's what they call God. Right. So why so the Arabic then, word? So why then yeah. is it so conflicting? Me personally, yeah. Muslims, no. They don't want to mix with any white person. As I said, a non-believer. I'm a white person. No, I came to you. Yeah, you yeah. didn't come to me. But I'm here to meet you. I'm, no, that's what, that's I what I'm out for to today. You. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. But did I did I turn away from you? Did I insult you? Like did I say, oh, I can't stand next to you because you're an infidel? No, we have. I think we're having a polite conversation. Well, that's what I want to understand. Yeah. Why the hell are we infidels? I was working in Whitechapel. Yeah. Yeah. About yeah. ten years ago. Yeah. I've got a big massive mosque, haven't it? Yes. Sure. I finished work. I want to go in there. Yeah. Wait, walked in. Can I come in? No. I'm surprised. They normally. Let, I've seen non-Muslims nah. in there. Fucking tell you. I'll, I'll take you in there. Straight away. But let Straight me. Away. Can I ask you? Let me answer you. You said, why do we consider you to be infidel? Yeah. I'm going to tell you straight. Yeah. Whether you like it. Whether no, you don't no, like tell it. Me, please, yeah. <coughs> we say that mankind is generally divided into two. Someone who believes and someone who doesn't believe. Non-believer, that's yeah. it, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the first thing we say is about God. If someone believes in God, then that person is a believer in God. If someone doesn't believe in God, they're a disbeliever in God. That's one. But then God has set a, a microphone. God has sent down books and he sent down messengers. So we believe in Moses, okay? When Jesus came and Jesus told the people, I have been sent by God and you people, you have to worship God. You have to live your life how God wants. You need some oil. <laughs> you need some oil. But so in that time, if someone would have said, I don't believe in Jesus, I reject Jesus, then that person would have become a disbeliever in Jesus and a disbeliever in God because God sent Jesus. So that's what we're saying. If, if you don't accept God, if you don't accept uh, all the messengers sent, you're a disbeliever. But that's not what yeah. Like, yeah. we get yeah right we do not get yeah like, it's nothing to do with jesus nothing with god yeah. it's more Muhammad. 
if you don't believe in yeah, Islam yeah, yeah. and Mohammed, yes, right, I you're agree. a non-believer. No, why? Because he because he was sent because he was sent he was sent after you Jesus need yeah. to put this message further yeah, yeah, because that's, that's it's you and like yeah. us yeah. sort of thing. Uh, and you're, it, it, it you're depends how you look at no, from no, Manchester. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Islam is very clear in the Quran. When you have non-Muslims, non-Muslims who you don't fight us because you don't attack us because of our religion, you don't fight us, uh, you don't force us out of our homes, then we are, we have to live in peace with you, especially in your country. We we entered this country. Well, we live in this country. Well, I'm sorry. Look, that's look. the biggest load of bollocks I've ever heard in my Why, life. Why you don't? Because you don't agree with it, or you think I'm lying? Do you think I'm lying? Like, it's the biggest little crap ever. Are you, so how, uh, who, who did the 7-7 seven, seven bombings? Who stabbed that um, uh, the yeah, soldier yeah. up? I'll come, I'll come to that. Do you know what I mean? I'll come to that. Let, who blew the towers up in America? L let me tell you that. Look. First, I'm going to answer. I'm not, I'm not ignoring you, but I'm going to say something first. You live in London. OK. You've got bus drivers. Who are Muslim? Every single one. You go, not every single, a lot of them. You go to the the shops. You're served by a Muslim. You might even have a Muslim neighbour. You uh, you go to the doctors. Maybe the receptionist is a Muslim. You see the doctor. They're Muslim. I mean, they could be Hindu. They could be Christian. But I'm saying you live around Muslims. Yeah. We are we are not here to kill people, to insult people, I'm not to take you are. over. I'm not yes. saying you are. Yeah. Right, I, I swear, yeah. I'm not saying you are. But, but Islam is. But, like, but let me tell you. Just say you got a football match. But let me tell you. Sorry, let me just tell you about. Um, let me tell you about the the terrorist incidents. You said. As a Muslim, we're not. A, Islam is very clear. You're not allowed to kill innocent people. In war, you're not allowed to kill women, you're not allowed to kill children, you're not allowed to destroy buildings, you're not allowed to cut down trees, you're not allowed to kill the animals, you're not allowed to harm the water. All these rulings that, that are very clear in Islam, in the Quran and in the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon them. So if you get a Muslim, if you get a Muslim who uh, kills innocent people by blowing up yeah, yeah. public transport or blowing up a building, we say, that we're not denying that a Muslim has done that, but we're saying that that Muslim has committed a criminal act. It's completely wrong. It's against Islam, firstly. So and, why, and, and why do they, like, turn the corner then? Why do they turn I, the I page think, and, like, do... I, I think it's, it's, based on, it's based on ignorance, it's based on emotion, it's based on, on anger. Yeah. Fucking hell. Right. To Let stab me someone up, yeah, to, yeah, it's, to it's, run them down, wrong. stab them. It's completely wrong. But what happens is, what happens is, you've got to be fucking mentally retarded. It, it, it could, go, it, it go, could be, it could be mental go to as well. And then go to a Muslim's class on a night uh -huh. and get fucking freaked out. No, 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 no. Nobody. Uh -huh. Right. I'm telling you now. Yeah, let me finish, sir. Let me, let me nobody. just. Nobody. Let me just finish, sir. Look, okay. Let me just finish. What happens is some some Muslim youth. They watch the TV and they see, for example, this Muslim land being invaded, another Muslim land being invaded, children getting blown up, and they get angry and they do something which is completely wrong well, against Islam. Well, should be Islam. your job to say no. Yeah, yeah. If... It's justified because they've done this, uh, so people are retaliating. What's justified? The bombing of that, that city, Israel, right? How well we Israel. Why? Because... Do you know anything about the history of Israel? Like, yes. how, how old is the country? Ah, fucking... I don't know about the, the, the age, but Gaza fucking blew, like, slaughtered 2,000 people. Have, have you really looked into it? Uh, yes. Look, look, let me, let me tell you, let me just... No, I'm not, I let don't want a conversation you. on that. Say, say this is the but land of Israel. now the UK yeah. and America yeah. are smashing the fucking Houthis. Do you know what I mean? World War Three started, mate. I, Allah knows best. But look, you have a piece no, of land. Allah doesn't know best. Muslims were living there. Muslims were living there, and Jews were living there in peace. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Then you had Britain, the Balfour Agreement about 100 years ago. They told the Jews, if you get America to join in World War One, 
we promise to give you this piece of land, which never belonged to England. So England, they were in control of Palestine under the colonial days, and they gave the land to Zionist Jews. And then what happened was, Jews from all around the world, they were told, you have the right to come and live in this land. But the problem is, people were already living there. So there were many people who were living there, Christians, Arabs, who were killed. And they were kicked out of their homes, and they became refugees in, in Jordan, in Lebanon, in other countries. Because their land was stolen. Their land was stolen. Even the people in, even the people in Gaza, the people in, in, in what's called Gaza, most of them are not from Gaza. They're from other parts of the country. The Middle East, yeah, yeah. No, they're from other parts of what's called Israel today, what's, what's Palestine. They lived in Palestine. They had villages, they had homes. Some of them, they still have the key to their old house. But European and Russian and Polish Jews have come and taken their land, taken their property, taken their houses, oh, killed Jews, them, yeah, imprisoned Jews, them, yeah, so tortured sorry. them. So, acqu no... so according to, but, but they're supported in this fully by America and by Britain. Yeah. So those people, according to international law, they're within, full within their rights to resist. And if you, people try to resist, and then what you do, if you, if you shoot them, and then you imprison them, yeah. and then you torture them. So if you resist, then what's going to happen? Gonna what's going to happen? What's going to, they retaliate. But the thing is, even if what happened on October the 7th, it doesn't give you the right to say, we are going to cut off the water, the, ele right, the, electric does. the electricity. It does. And not according to international law. I'm sorry. Not according to, this is called war crimes. You cut off the water, you no. cut off the electricity, you right. blow up hospitals, right. you, you blow up schools, Russia. you blow up... Do you know what I mean? This is exactly the same thing. You no, it's not. We, no, it's not. You know, why, you know why it's not the same? Shall I tell you why it's not the same? No, go on. Because America and Europe, they believe that Ukraine has every right to defend themselves yes. from Russia. Yes. So, if that's the way you're going, you have to say that, therefore, Palestine has every right to defend themselves from Israel. Of course they do. But well, that's what they're they doing. started it, so Israel... No, they never started it. They never started it. Oh, didn't they? No. So, so they didn't come over on so, fucking jet skis and all these so, so, fucking things so, and kill 2,000 people? But you, so, you don't, so you don't believe there was a day before October the 7th? You don't think... That, I don't know. That's don't, not... That's not public knowledge. It is. It's very public knowledge. If you don't want to know it, that's fine. But I don't care. So I'm not into yeah. this war shit, but World War Three started. It's good to meet you. OK. And you're from Manchester, so... What was your name, sir? Sorry. Martin. Martin Yusuf. Nice Yusuf. to meet you. Yes. Of course it is. What the fuck is this? Get this is a beard. You like it? No. Why? Jesus had one, Moses had one. Yeah, but it's ginger and fucking um, grey. I'm getting old. It's not white, it's fucking grey. Do you know why it's grey? I'm stressed talking to people like you. <laughs> okay, then, oh, you're a good man. All right, hey, then, take care. You take care. Think thank about it. I will. Okay, thank, you, thank you for this. No problem. All the best.